me now Oh, thou bleak and unbearable world Thou art base and debauched as can be And a knight with his banners all bravely I, I understand what Paul wrote to, to the Corinthians when he said um, it's about how you appraise things, right? Because in 1 Corinthians 2.14 he wrote, A natural man does not accept the things of the Spirit of God for their foolishness to him. And he cannot understand them because they're spiritually appraised. There are a lot of clear pictures of this truth in the Word, throughout the Word. But I don't know how many how many of those scriptures show one more pertinent to our discussion here than this from Acts 5, 27 and 29, through 29, right? Mm -hmm. Acts chapter 5, verses 27 through 29. Now think about this and spiritual appraisal. When they had brought them, they stood before the council. The high priest questioned them, saying, we gave you strict orders not to continue teaching in this name, and yet you have filled Jerusalem with your teaching and intend to bring this man's blood upon us. But Peter and the apostles answered and said, we must obey God rather than men. Got this picture? Yes. The apostles are preaching the name of Jesus throughout Jerusalem. They had been ordered by the Pharisees, the Sadducees, the Sanhedrin, not to preach that name. So now, here they are standing before the high priest, and he said, we, we gave you strict orders mm. not to continue teaching in this, in this name. And yet you filled Jerusalem with your teaching. You know, I, I hear people praying, well, we're going to take God, we're going to take Washington for God. We're going to... What we need to do is fill those cities with the name of Jesus Christ, Amen. the preaching and teaching of the word, right? Because that's the only power. Because we have to obey God rather than men. But think about this now. Because it's a matter of appraisal, seeing things spiritually. Peter and the other apostles did hope to bring Jesus' blood on them. He, the high priest, Amen. he got it. I mean, he, he had the facts right. Yes. But he had no understanding. Here's a man who is, no, I mean, this is the epitome of zeal for the law. Yes, yes. But he had no understanding of God, right? right? He accuses Peter and the apostles of desiring to bring the blood, the blood of Jesus upon Amen. Him. That's exactly what he desired yes, to do. Yes, Right? Not just them, on all men. Amen. Right? Because as Peter knew and wrote in his second letter, God the Father desires that none should perish, but come to repentance. Yes. And that means being washed clean from our sins by the shed blood of Jesus Christ. Nothing but the no. blood of Jesus. You, you have no hope unless the blood of Jesus comes upon you. That's a fact. That's like that old, <laughs> like that old hymn, right? Mm. That's a good one. Nothing but the blood. But, yeah, nothing uh, but the blood of Jesus. Are you washed Jesus? in the blood, in the soul-cleansing blood of the Lamb? Are your garments spotless are as white as snow? Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? Yeehaw! <laughs> that's a that's yes. a hymn from the 1870s, by Thank the way. You, Jesus. Yeah. So, but but the point is, the the high priest actually got it right, and this is not an uncommon thing, to get the facts right, but not to have the wisdom to understand it. For the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Without that fear of the Lord. And you can have a zeal for God without the, right? That's right. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. wisdom. So they saw the facts, but they didn't understand them and didn't respond. You want to know something? There's a lot going on in the world around us today. Just turn on the news. Oh, mercy. People, people know the facts. Yes. But they have no understanding of what's going on around them. Mm -hmm. Because they, the facts have to be spiritually appraised in order to have understanding. Okay. And when you appraise them spiritually, you for people that have fear, that fear was, is, just dissipates. Absolutely. Because perfect love casts out fear. Right. And when you understand and appraise things spiritually, you will see the perfect love of God the Father. Amen. Um, but, see, now, I'm, the, he's standing before the council. I mean, this is the, like I said, this is the what epitome. What an opportunity. But this is the epitome yeah. of... Ze zeal, religious yes. religious zeal, according to the law, right? 
So these extremely zealous religious leaders knew the facts, but not the God of the facts. Right. So they could not. That's what Paul said in that verse. The natural man cannot Praise. accept the things of the Spirit of God. They could not understand, and therefore they did not submit. So turn your eyes upon Jesus. Look full in his wonderful face And the things of earth will grow strangely dim In the light of his glory and grace